Okay, excellent. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. So um, we're here today to, to talk to you about a actual live and delivered project that we both worked on um, from a contract pod perspective and also uh, at, at PwC. Um, the premise of the project um, is using and um, focus specifically on generative AI. Um, it's using our discovery tool um, at ContractPod. Um, and the way that we went about this was looking at what is effectively a very highly complex legal use case um, around the analysis of very complex and a large amount of data. Um, Jeff, do you want to start off by just giving yeah. a bit of background on the on the client? Sure, great. Th thanks, Mark. It's great to be here. As, as Mark mentioned, this is a live project that we actually delivered, and you're going to see some metrics later on, on the accuracy of the, the LIA platform. But uh, PwC, our client, PwC's client, uh, is a private equity firm, global, also has a venture capital arm, and they have approximately 500 portfolio companies. And each month, each quarter, there's a responsibility to extract information from a reporting standpoint, not only for legal, but for accounting boards. So there was this cross-section of legal and accounting that was very critical and multiple jurisdictions. The PwC team was do conducting this very manually uh, you know, through our teams across the globe. So we have a lot of you know, time in motion study that we, we looked at and um, wanted a solution that could quickly get us accuracy on basic extractions, but then generate a conclusion. Because the, our client has a thinly staffed legal department and compliance function, and it was taking up time and taking them away from strategic work. So uh, our, our goal was twofold, and uh, we brought it to our partner, ContractPod AI, and, and jointly architected the solution. So, that, so let's talk to you guys a little bit about just what that process looks like. First of all, the, the impact that we can make using generative AI about delivering these highly complex projects is very different to where we were before. Um, uh, that starts with uh, how we interacted with PwC. And Jeff, do you want to just talk a little bit about the scoping piece uh, at the start of this project? Yeah, so as, as mentioned, it was a very manual process. And, and, and we had you know, cross-border teams working on this. So the first step was looking at what our client's goal was and how we needed to conform with the reporting requirements for the chief legal officer, but also the chief compliance officer and then the accounting board standards. So built out a workflow hand in hand with ContractPod AI and then developed a, 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 a test case where we looked at roughly 10 portfolio companies to build the data model. And I think one of the key takeaways for us is w with what was exciting about this project, our ability to focus on what is a, a very interesting one-off project. Actually, the true success of this is can we turn this into a, a repeatable model that impacts the client on a quarterly basis um, and for the long term. So if you think about the initial scoping being done by PwC, that then comes over to our team at, at ContractPod AI. Again, we're using our LEAR discovery module, and we're using multiple large language models. Now, the way we go about this is, first of all, we are actually getting the, the relevant expectations in terms of what the actual answers look like. Um, and then we're running that through our generative AI solution, and we're starting to then do a quality control and testing of the actual results. Now, as Jeff rightly mentioned, one of the biggest impacts of this was it's one thing being able to actually just get the answer um, from Leah. Um, what is very important for the project and for the client's success was not only the answer, but then actually how Leah's got to that answer. So it gives the relevant analysis. Um, it gives the relevant detail around how that conclusion has been reached. Because ultimately, moving forward, and why this is a co-pilot project, Moving forward, the, the lawyers on the client side need to be able to interpret the results, and it will always come down to some form of interpretation of, of law. Now, once we were then happy on a contract pod perspective in terms of the quality, um, we'd then pass that back to the PwC team. Um, they would run further QA against it, and then that would come back in uh, where we would then do um, refinement of the prompts that we're using to make sure that the accuracy is as high as possible. You'll, you'll notice on this slide the full project 
for full delivery was within the six week period. Actually, we delivered the, the, the initial phase of the project actually within a three yes. week period, right? Yeah, it was actually 25 portfolio companies in the first phase, the first three weeks. And then the next slide, you'll see the, the results which were for that first phase. But we had such great success in the first three weeks, we doubled the size of the sample set to 50 portfolio companies and uh, we're extremely pleased with the results, as was our, as was our client. Yeah, absolutely. So, so let's talk a little bit about the, the, the results themselves. So again, this is talking about what we did in that initial three-week phase. Um, so thinking about the amount of pages that were reviewed. And again, this is wh why we have the ability to perform these types of projects at the moment. Our, our focus on not just relying on a single LLM, but also having the ability to, to bypass any restriction constraints. So we don't have restrictions on the amount of data that's coming in, and importantly, we don't have restrictions on the outputs when we're thinking about the results themselves. Um, as Jeff mentioned, the initial phase was around 20 entities, um, and the accuracy results, even within the first phase, as you can see, at just over 98% was exceptionally high. Now that goes up in terms of the second phase delivery that, that we talked about. Um, but the, the true result was that from the client's perspective and, and from our perspective, Leah was able to outperform a lot of the human manual tasks that were being achieved within this project. There were some very interesting examples where when both lawyers on both of our sides and legal engineers were reviewing some of the results, Initially, we actually questioned whether what Leah was passing out in terms of the result was accurate. Um, and there was a few examples where actually both lawyers on both sides and our legal engineers actually changed their conclusion based on the information that Leah was, was putting out. Um, so, uh, yeah, a, a highly successful but now an ongoing project. Yeah, and I think the impact to our client was uh, it, it was multi-pronged. In, in, in essence, they had that thinly staffed team who, there was a morale issue that was not measurable until after this, the, seeing the results where they uh, felt comfortable. They were then be able, they were able to be uh, deployed on more strategic initiatives. It helped our team. It helped reduce their spend with us, with PwC. Uh, so it's growing our relationship and trust that we're bringing best of breed technology. And, you know, I will also say, I think they, were of the mindset they needed to be with one LLM. I think what was really appealing and, and a selling point for them when they saw these results was the strategy that ContractPod deploys with Leah, which is the multiple LLM strategy. Okay, excellent. We'll, we'll leave you with a few takeaways just in terms of what was successful with this project. I'll, I'll just call a couple out. I think the scalability angle, so we, we, you know, we've started the relevant work with this client as an example, but how do we then scale this uh, across their business? Um, and also just identifying what is, there's a lot of very cool stuff being discussed, obviously, around Gen AI. The difference between what is possible versus what can actually be delivered today. We obviously wanted to focus on what could be delivered for the client. So um, thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you.